Buddhism originated in India and later flourished in other regions of Asia, in flood, dash, in South Asia, East Asia, Southeast Asia, Central Asia, and others. We express deep gratitude to the cultural heritage that our program is founded on. We recognize and appreciate that many of our meetings are held on ancestral indigenous ground that were never ceded. We honor those who have committed to the ongoing stewardship of this land. Likewise, we honor the communities of black, indigenous, and people of color, recognizing the systemic oppression and marginalization that members of these communities may have experienced in the world and in recovery spaces. We dedicate our practice to fostering collective heal, dash, ing and liberation from all oppression, performance, dash, ing cycle of addiction, and suffering, as one human, race. We wholeheartedly embrace all those who wish to pursue recovery as part of our community, regardless of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, age, disability, or nationality, with all of the joy and sadness, skillfulness and imperfections, striving and resting, grasping and let, dash, tingo that arise on this path of healing and growth. We honor all those who have walked the grateful road of recovery in the past, present, and those who will carry on this practice in the future. Infinity. Contents. Preface. Dot 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 15. Section I. Awakening. Buddha. Dot 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 Seven. The first noble truth. Eight. The second noble truth. Thirteen. The third noble truth. Fifteen. The fourth noble truth. 16. Wise understanding. 17. Wise intention. 20. Wise speech. 27. Wise action. 29. Wise livelihood. 31. Wise effort. 32. Wise mindfulness. 34. Wise concentration. 37. Community. Sangha. Dot 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 dot
when it's capitalized, Dharma usually means the teachings of the Buddha and the practices based on those teachings. The Buddha knew that all human beings, to some extent, struck, dash, play with craving, the powerful, sometimes blinding desire to change. Our thoughts, feelings, or circumstances, those of us who experience ad, dash, addiction have been driven to use substances and or harmful behaviors in a habitual pattern to try and create this desired change, even though the Buddha didn't talk specifically about addiction, he understood the obsessive nature of the human mind. He understood our attachment to pleasure and aversion to pain. He understood the extreme measures we are willing to take, chasing what we want to feel and running away from feelings we fear, and he found a solution. This book describes a way to free ourselves from the suffering of addiction using Buddhist practices and principles. This program leads to recovery from addiction to substances like alcohol and drugs and from process addictions like sex, gambling, pornography, technology, work, codependence, shopping, eating, media, self-harm, lying, stealing, and obsessive worrying. This is a path to freedom for many repetitive and habitual behavior that causes suffering. Some of us reading this book may be unfamiliar with Buddhism or have not used Buddhist practices as a pathway to recovery. There might also be unfamiliar Buddhist words and concepts in this book. We also understand that what we present in this book does not encompass all Buddhist traditions, lineages, teachings, and practices, and may to some extent differ from your own Buddhist practice. Our aim is to clear, dash, we describe our path and practice in recovery dharma for people new to recovery, new to Buddhism, and for those familiar with both. This book describes the original Buddhist teachings from which our program comes. The essence of Buddhism's fundamental and early teachings, the Four Noble Truths to show how practicing the Eightfold Path is a pragmatic pathway which can transform the challenges of both early and long-term recovery. This is a renunciation-based program, regardless of our individual UAL addictions, all of our members commit to a basic abstinence from that substance or behavior. For process addictions like food and technology, renunciation may mean establishing thoughtful boundaries and intent. Dash. Tie on. For some of us, abstinence from things like obsessive sexual behavior. Dash. IOR, are compulsively seeking out love and relationships, may be necessary. As we work to understand and find meaningful boundaries, many of us have found that after renouncing our primary addiction for a period of time, other harmful behaviors and process addictions become apparent in our lives. Rather than getting discouraged, we found that we can meet these behaviors with compassion, wisdom, and patient investigation into our habitual tendencies. We believe recovery is a lifelong, holistic process of peeling back layers of habits and conditioned behaviors to find our own potential for awakening. 
Our program is peer led. We do not follow any one teacher or leader. We support each other as partners walking the path of recovery. Together, this is not a program based in dogma or religion, but in fine. Dash. In the truth for ourselves. This insight has worked for us, but is not the only path. It's fully compatible with other spiritual paths and programs of recovery. We know from our own experience that true recovery is only possible with the intention of radical honesty, understanding, awareness, and integrity, and we trust you to discover your own path. This is a program that asks us to never stop growing. It asks us to own our choices and be responsible for our own healing. It's based on mindfulness, kindness, generosity, forgiveness, and deep compassion. We do not rely on methods of shame and fear as motivators. These haven't worked in our own past, and have often created more struggle and suffering through relapse and discouragement. The courage it takes to recover from addiction is ultimately courage of the heart, and we aim to support each other as we commit to this brave work. Many of us have spent a lot of time criticizing ourselves. In this program, we renounce violence and doing harm, including the violence and harm we do to ourselves. We believe in the healing power of forgive. Dash. Ness. We put our trust in our own potential to awaken and recover. In. The four noble.